Excellent. Welcome, everybody, to this Microsoft 365 feature demo show, or whatever we call the show, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but cool demos on the Microsoft 365, cross SharePoint, Viva, SPFX development, Copilot, and, la, 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 and many, many more. Um, this time, uh, we're talking about the Viva connection and Power Apps in the creation scenario, which is really, really cool. Something which is rolling out uh, in the end of uh, 2024, or depending on a bit about the tenants and rolling schedules, uh, it will be on your tenants in 2025, depending obviously when you're watching the video. Now, um, with me here is Puya and Saprit, uh, the, the owning feature PM, and then also the developer of this functionality. So let's, let's do a quick uh, recap who, uh, or intros, who you are, and then let's talk about the feature in a bit more detail. Puya, can you do a quick intro? Yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm Pooja. I'm the PM on the uh, Viva Connections platform. My goal is to reduce the time to value for the operators who are configuring the dashboards and Viva Connections experience for the end users. While we do this, we are working towards many things. One is out of the box cards. Then we are also working on different integrations, which is one which is one of the things we are going to talk about today. And there are other things also in the pipeline, which we keep working to make the life easier for the operators. So that's my role. Would you? Saprit, let's jump yeah. on you then. Hey, hey everyone, I'm Saprit. Uh, I'm a software engineer in Microsoft Hyderabad. I work in the Viva Connections team. And I also work with Pooja on uh, enabling developers to create more Viva Connection solutions easily. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and and Pooja is kind of the PM. That means that Pooja is specifying and making the objectives, and then Saprit makes those visions in realization, right? So you're the magical guy behind the scenes uh, who actually makes things happen. So <laughs> we PMs wish things and writing them down in PowerPoint with where they work really well. And then you actually make that happen. It's really, really cool. Uh, but uh, in this case, we're going to talk about the Viva connection and, uh, and the Power Platform integration, which is really, really cool. So this is a kind of a new way of integrating capabilities from Power Apps directly to the employee experiences platform, uh, in this case, the Viva connection. Um, can either one of you, or Puya, can you do a quick intro? What are we talking about here? So what is the scenario and what's the value uh, for end users and, and sure. customers on this? So as we are the platform owners, we want to bring integrations with most of the Microsoft runtimes that uh, we have. Because so far, we have been providing tech to integrate any of the SharePoint uh, elements into Viva Connections. Now we want to extend and bring Power Apps runtime also. So we want to excite that community and bring them onto Power, uh, onto our Viva Connections platform. And that will also help them if they have already invested or they have apps and cards which are there. And they can just plug into our Viva Connections dashboard for any apps and tools for the dashboard. Really, really good point. There's, there's a lot of the Power Apps has been really, really successful. Like I said, and it's, it's this is basically just taking or making sure that their existing investments, what they've done in Power Platform, can be also surfaced uh, within the Viva Connection side. So bringing this new kind of extensibility option in. Um, Maybe maybe it's easiest actually to see this in live and, and understand how it actually works. If we separate, if you are willing, uh, or I know that you are uh, ready to go to demo. So let's jump on the demo mode and let's have a look on what this means in practice uh, within separate's uh, screen. Sure, uh, let's go. So uh, just to reiterate Pooja's point. So Viva Connections is a single pane of glass for all of your company's apps. And we want to enable customers with existing Power Platform investments to reuse their investments to either bring existing solutions or create new solutions for Viva connections. Uh, so if you're already familiar with PowerFX, through this feature, you can very easily create Viva connection solutions using Power Cards. Uh, otherwise, which would have required knowledge of SharePoint framework or the board framework. Uh, so for the demo, let me show you how Power Cards work right now. So, I, so to create a Power Card, I navigate to make.powerapps.com and I select Cards from the left pane. I've already created a card for managing patient appointments for my hospital. So uh, let me just open the card and show it to you. Uh, this is the designer experience. And uh, right now, I'll click on play to show you how it, how end users interact with this and what new functionality we are bringing in. Uh, so this is, the, this is called the play page, where after designing the card, you can uh, test your card out, et cetera. Uh, and then right now, you can share the card in Teams chat through directly copying a link or through Power Automate flow. The functionality that we are adding through this feature is you can also now add this card in Viva Connections and it'll show up as a quick view within Viva Connections. So let me show you how to do that. I go to send and I select enable card in Viva Connections. 
uh, usually the power card lives for a limited time, which is 60 days. But once you enable it for Viva connections, it'll stay up indefinitely. So you don't need to worry about it being cleaned up. Uh, once you enable, voila, you're good to go. You can just copy the link. You can go to your Viva connections dashboard edit experience. And simply search the toolbox for Power Apps card. Uh, and paste your copied link in the property pane. So this will also auto-populate the title description if you've provided. You can also edit if you want, and then you can also add a button, or you can choose not to have a button. You can also audience target to specific uh, AD groups, intra groups in your organization. So let me just republish this. Right. Uh, and once you've published, here's how it'll look inside of your Viva connections. So I've already added this card and loaded the screen. Uh, so th this card is basically a micro app that lets me do the small task of either viewing an existing patient's appointments or register a new patient or create an appointment for the patient. So uh, let, let me create an appointment uh, through this card. So I'll just enter patient's name. You can choose the doctor from the drop down. Yeah. So this is how you can use uh, the power FX to create uh, apps for your business case. Uh, and now let me show you a bit about the maker experience. So how this card was created or what all functionality the maker experience offers. So this is the uh, maker experience. And here is where you can drag and drop adaptive card elements to create this UI. Uh, so before creating the UI, uh, you would want to know where your data is coming from. So for that, you can choose the data sources here. Uh, right now, uh, we right now Power Card supports uh, these four connectors. And for Viva Connections right now, we are just supporting the Dataverse connector. So that means you can bring in your business data from Dataverse. Uh, that could include things like perhaps you have an inventory management solution based out of Dataverse, or you have this patient record system, or you, you simply have a list of links that you want to display to a specific business unit, and you want to create a Viva Connections card for them. So you can yeah. just get those links from the Dataverse, and then you can use this data in your UI. So let me also show you how you can use the data within the UI. So uh, let me go to this new patient screen where I'm collecting the patient's name, et cetera, as input. So in the register button, I can write some power FX that refers to the patient's table in the dataverse. And it gets the data from the form users field and it stores it in the patient's table. So this is basically a standard Power Apps development pattern. So of course, there's nothing specific in the Viva Connection uh, requirements yeah. for this one. So if you are familiar with Power Apps, all of those things and Power Cards, um, that's that's how you do those things. And of course, you're using Dataverse um, in Power Apps and Power Cards quite often. So, but nothing Viva Connection specific from that perspective. Absolutely. So you can. That's where you can reuse your existing, existing knowledge to create the solutions for Viva Connection. And it's I think very similar to the Power Apps Maker experience as well. Yep. Uh, you can also have multiple screens within Power Card. So the one screen I wanted to have different UI for patient registration, and maybe I want a separate UI for another task, which is creation of appointment. So I can have multiple screens, and I can navigate through them through PowerFX itself. Uh, this is another example where I have tried to look up the patient's name from one table and then store it in the appointments table in the Dataverse. Yep. All right. So you also have variables. Uh, with which you can control uh, things like visibility of your UI element. So I want to show this created check mark after the registration has been successful. So I set its visibility to the value of this variable, which I then I will set it when the user presses this button. Yep. And again, just Power Apps, normal Power Apps development scenarios. Nothing specific for your connection uh, as such. Um, so this is how Power Apps work uh, or Power Cards work as well. Now, um, can we? What, what about the, the the mobile experience? So we kind of looked on the the desktop in SharePoint. We looked on the desktop in in uh, in the 
uh, in the Viva connection, but really the sweet spot of Viva connection is the frontline workers. So if you think about people who are uh, only accessing the information with the mobile phone or whatever device they're having, uh, how does this look like within a, in a mobile? Sure. So yeah, once you publish this card to your SharePoint dashboard, you can view it immediately gets visible on your mobile Viva connections as well. So this is how it will look like on mobile. Uh, yeah. Let me open it. Let me just maybe try to view appointments for a patient. Uh, it shows the list of appointments that I've created. Yep. So yeah, yep. this card will show up work uh, on your mobile as well. And, and just to kind of recap there, so the, like you were saying, Sapreet, this is kind of a micro apps which are targeted for easy access uh, of the information in mobile. Uh, okay. Of course, you could transition to the actual application as well, uh, which backend could be then Dataverse and all of that stuff. But the idea here is that we kind of provide micro experiences directly which are targeted for mobile. Uh, so people don't need to move between the applications. They can access all of the individual uh, enterprise or company apps directly from the dashboard. Uh, by clicking the cart and relevant actions are available depending on a business case. Um, and of course, based on a user, based on a role, you can filter or, or you, those carts which are visible using audiences as well. Uh, correct, yeah. Single pane of glass, uh, all your quick actions in one place, view your holidays, view your quick links, uh, perform uh, tasks like managing or creating appointments, and then for yep. full use, you can navigate to the app also. Yep. Definitely. Yep. Really, really cool. Awesome, awesome stuff. Thank you, Saprit, for the for the live demo um, and a bit of a technical side on the on the power apps as well. That's always good to understand how that works behind of the scenes. Now, let's actually move back on the on the talking heads a bit about the future. So, the immediate follow-up question, uh, I think, for anybody who's familiar with power app, a power platform will be like, okay, that was power cards. What about power apps? So, can I use power apps uh, within this scenario as well? Yeah, so uh, essentially this, uh, the same card can be used for bringing your power apps as well. The same link which you have where you put uh, the power card, you can use the power app and it will work seamlessly. So yes. we have made sure that existing power apps and cards both are integrated well on this experience. That's really, really cool. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome news. And also, I know that we've been talking about the next steps and investment areas in here. So we are looking into making things a bit more flexible as well. So what, what about the future? So what's in the roadmap related on power platform integration uh, with Viva Connection? So as you saw, currently we are only supporting Dataverse as the backend. Uh, we want to extend this further. We are discussing with Power Apps team what are the other uh, data uh, data sources that we can bring on for Viva connections. So currently it is Dataverse, but maybe tomorrow we'll look at other data sources like SharePoint or maybe SAP and all. So we have to enable those connectors. Now we are discussing which all connectors can be brought out easily and we'll hear from all of you, all the users and see what uh, which are the best ones to be prioritized. Yeah. So anybody who's watching the video uh, in the YouTube or within our blog announcements where the feature is available or wherever you're watching this video, please add feedback uh, and comments so we understand uh, what is relevant scenarios for you. Yeah. If you would like to have, for example, SharePoint as the connector for power cards to enable certain scenarios, please let us know. Uh, that's feedback what we definitely need and want um, because we're building this functionalities for you as the customer. So we need to understand what is relevant and what do you need uh, from our side. But any any last words? Uh, Saprit, Puya, uh, any thoughts uh, before we close up the video? Yeah, just that we want people to use it and let us know how they feel about it. That's our only re request to all of them. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Thank you, yeah. Buyan. Thank you, Saprit. Uh, really cool to have you uh, on the on the show on the show uh, and on, on the video. And a great feature. I'm super excited to actually see this rolling out uh, for customers, and then waiting for all of the feedback what people are saying, and and awesome to start seeing what kind of application people are actually uh, building using Power Apps for the employee experiences platform. So awesome, awesome stuff. But thank you for joining, um, and thank you for being in the show. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.